everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. I greatly appreciate you stopping by. Today I want to show you some ATC cards I've got. I've told you in the past that I belong to an ATC group online. It's not on Facebook or anything like that, but it's a great group. It's been around for a long time. It used to be a Yahoo group, now it's an IO group, and it's a great bunch of folks. So every year we for the most part do a swap called um, recycled or upcycled Christmas cards where you take some of your Christmas cards and you turn them into ATCs. Now you think that sounds kind of easy but in a way it is and in a way it isn't because Christmas cards can be so beautiful that when you cut them to be ATC size what do you do to embellish them to add more to them? Yikes! Anyhow, I'm fixing to show you what I've done, and I'm going to kind of go through the steps here a little bit and, and explain to you what I've done with the cards. The first thing you do, of course, is pick out the cards you want to do. Now, I know you can already see where my cards are, and yes, I did four. I normally do three. That's for the swap, but I always do an extra one for myself just to kind of, I don't know, I, I'm going to get some back. But it just kind of, I don't know, keeps me inspired, maybe shows, lets me see what I've done in the past. I don't know, but it's what I've always done. So first thing is, is that I use a die to cut out my cards. And I use this die a lot. Now this one is expired, I believe, so don't go looking for it. But I also think that there is a, a Tim Holtz has a die that I don't think has expired yet that will also cut ATC cards. And I want to say it comes with photo corners on it also. I have that one buried somewhere. But this is, for the most part, my go-to die. Alrighty. And one thing I like about it, too, is when, I don't know, I don't want to say I'm sitting around doing nothing, but I see some paper and I think, oh, that might make a cute ATC back or whatever. I'll go ahead and punch out or cut out a bunch of them. The other thing that I like to prepare, too, is some cardstock backs so that then you just have to you know embellish on the front and then depending on what the cardboard is like that you've punched you might have to put a piece on the back for your info or not you know if it's plain but anyhow this is always how I start now in this case what I did is this card since it was laid out landscape wise I looked at it and said huh huh I think I can get two cards out of that one so that is exactly what I did. I lined up on the die and I made two ATCs. Now aren't they pretty? But again, you know, it's got these gold snowflake ornaments with these beautiful red bows. What more do you do? <laughs> you know, and it can't be you simply cut out the card. That's no fun, you know. So you need to embellish it. And when they tell you, you don't have to do a whole lot to these cards necessarily, but you do need to do something. So as you can see, I put a gold frame around them, and then I used some gold paper and did deck the halls. Thought it was appropriate. So let me show you here what I used. I am a big fan, a big fan, of the um, Stampendous embossing enamel. This is, I believe it's chunky. I'm not sure that they call this one chunky, but it is. It's a little thicker, and um, when it melts, to me, it melts so pretty. You couldn't use this on something fine line um, if you wanted to. It, it, it's just too thick for that. But I don't know. The applications, when I use it, it's always perfect for me. So this one is the silver, even though it doesn't really look silvery, and then this one is the gold. All righty. So those are the two embossing powders that I used. Now as you can see the gold here, look how chunky that is. And then the paper that I used, I had these papers in my scrap piles. Um, and even with my scraps, you should have seen me, you know, lining up my words to not use it and stamp all over it and stuff. It was too funny. And let me show you the stamps that I used. I don't know if this is the exact one. Uh, let's see. Let's pull this one out. I think that, yeah, this is, I think, the one I used because the letters are not back in right. 
We get these at Michael's for, I think, a buck or two. And um, I have all kinds of them. And you have to line them up yourself, which, you know, it, it can be a little sticky situation sometimes and sometimes not. But that's what I stamped on. This one is really a gold shimmer. And this one is more of an A crew, but I played it off as a silvery tint to it. So those are the two backings that I used for the letters on both cards. So that's Deck the Halls on there. And then this one, as you can see, I actually also trimmed around the edge, took the white off. It was all the way around it. I'm sorry, I threw that away. I'm not digging in the trash can to get that. <laughs> I, don't get me wrong now. It's not beyond me to get in the trash can, but I, I'm just not going to worry about it. Um, but anyhow, so that's what I did. I trimmed that, and then this is what I pulled out of there. Now, isn't that a beautiful card? And this card actually is um, also embossed. And as you can see, the snow has some reflection on it. Some little pieces look like, I don't know, it's not really like a glitter, but kind of like a glitter. And then I just did winter time across the top of it. But again, you can see the chunky silver that I used around it. Now how I do that is I take my Versamark um, embossing pad, which I have two of these. One of them I use if it's going to get a little gunky, and the other one I try to keep fairly clean. And I have refilled these I can't tell you how many times, so they're pretty tough. Anyhow, I'll take my card and I'll actually tap it onto the um, pad all the way around, all the way around, and just a little bit in, and then lay it out and sprinkle my um, embossing powder over the top of it and then kind of shake it off. And then, you, of course, your heat, you use your heat tool. And um, I start off, even on the heat tool, it's kind of funny. I start off with the one by Ranger because it doesn't have a lot of blast to it and kind of start getting it melted. But sometimes, I don't know what it is, that gun is not hot enough or something to melt this chunky embossing powder. So in that case, then I pull out the heat tool, that you know, the long skinny one, and then sock it to it and, and, and it melts it quick. So that is that. And what I also like about this is... um. I don't know, it, it just, it, it just all fits to me. Anyhow, and then this is my last one that I did. This is the card there. And uh, for some reason there is something sticky on there. Anyhow, this is the last one that I did. And as you can see, it was a church along with um, a nativity scene up in the front and people gathering around the church and all. So, um... I was trying to see if maybe something wasn't melted there, but no, it is. Um, so this is the last one that I did, and you can see the silver. And now, if those trees had not already had glitter on them, I would have done that. You know, you, you do need to think of things to do to your card to embellish them. Like I said, you just can't punch it out and slap a little something on it. So that is that. And then on the back side, I wanted to show you every time that you do a swap, you need to put your information on the back and I have a bunch of different stamps that I use on the back of these and um, you name the swap so this one will be I think it's called um, upcycled Christmas card and then my name and my email and the date of the swap and then in this case the number of so it'll be like one of four two or four three or four four or four and then even though this one doesn't say it I always um, put the city and state for which I live, and I like that. Um, there was a time I was keeping up better with that and was trying to get all 50 states, and I need to go back, and I've lost my list. <clears throat> but anyhow, so those are the cards, and these are the pieces then that are left. Now, when you look at this one, can I get much out of it? I could probably do some kind of tag out of that, a little sideways tag. But look at this, the little sled and the little kitten down at the bottom. Yeah, I, I'll do something with that, even if it's a, a, some other little kind of tag. And then this, get these off of here. I will definitely cut that out, and I'll make that a bookmark or another tag or something. I will definitely do that. And it's embossed as well, so it has texture to it. And then as you can see on this one, I've kind of already, you know, 
this I probably will toss. Oh. And then and then this is one piece that's left. I don't know what I'll do with that. I might just make a little tag out of it for a little gift tag or um, a little overlay maybe. If I fold it down, it might be a little overlay for a little notepad in a journal. And then this piece I've already cut out and it's just simply going to be a bookmark just as it is. Um, I'm not going to do anything else to it. I don't even know if I'll put a hole in the top of it because it is so pretty to me with the sparkles and everything. Anyhow, so those are my cards and I have now showed you the tools in which I use to do them. Use the phone and um whoops let me lay them over like this so you can see and uh that's that so now what happens is i put them three of them in an envelope to the hostess with a dollar for return postage and i think this swap from now is done i have to have it in a couple weeks so then usually a couple weeks after you have it in they usually get your swap back to you so for right now, I'm going to call it quits on this. And so I just do want to remind you that I do my best to put up a video every Tuesday evening. You can also find me on, I have a Facebook group. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. I also have a Facebook page that I, I kind of dedicate toward recycling and everything. And I also have a Pinterest. And then I also, um, of course, have a personal Facebook and you can also find me on Etsy. I have a few things in my shop. I don't go gangbusters, some blueprints, some book plates, and some old-timey receipts and, and checks and things. Not a whole lot, but you might find something of interest there. So I do appreciate it, and if you would, come back, and in a couple of weeks, hopefully a few weeks, I'll show you the cards that I get back. So for right now, I appreciate you coming by, and I'll catch you down the road. Stay safe. Bye.